What's up guys, it is your boy Bernardo from the BTN HD and today is all about upgrading your configuration manager to 1802 Hotfix, which is KB4132447. Uh, so to get started, what you wanna do is open up your console, go to administration, updates and services. Uh, if you don't see this guy, click on check for updates and just give it some time. And then come back, eventually you're going to see uh, Configuration Manager 1802 Hotfix ready to install. So what you want to do is highlight it, right click on it, and if you want, you can run the check. I normally just go straight and install the update pack. You're going to get the nice little wizard. Uh, what I like to do is ignore the warnings. So once I check that off, I click on next. I leave everything as the default upgrade without validating, click next, accept the license and terms, and then next again, next again, and done. It's pretty simple pushing out these hot fixes. Uh, and then you close it. Once you close the dialog box, the, if you look at the state column, it's going to say installing, which is a good thing. If you highlight it and you go all the way to the bottom right here where it says show status, click on that. It's gonna take you to this guy right here updates and servicing status and it's going to create a configuration manager 1802 hotfix and when you click on it you're going to see this so what you want to do is right click on it and show status or you're able to highlight it and click right here show status it's up to you you're going to get this nice little window and it's going to indicate what when it's downloaded when the replication is done when the installation has started and also the post installation. Eventually, when you go back inside administration, updates and services, the state is going to say checking prerequisites, which is a good thing. Sometimes it's a bad thing. And the reason why I say sometimes it's a bad thing is because this right here can get stuck. And you would say to yourself, okay, is SCCM being SCCM? Let's give it some time. Yeah, give it 24 hours, maybe 48 hours. You come back. And it's still like this. Sometimes it is your SQL database or the agent that needs to be restarted. Maybe you, you have to reboot your server. But sometimes all that stuff doesn't work out. For me, I had that problem. And the way that I fix it was, I'm going to show you guys right now. So let's get inside of my server. Awesome. So what I had to do is I had to go into monitoring. I had to go inside the system status, component status, and I saw that the type was unknown, but everything is green check marks. So I'm saying to myself, wait a minute, everything looks good. Why am I getting issues? So when I right clicked on it and I said show messages, I clicked on all messages. And one of the messages, let's say a week, let's say two days, two weeks ago, uh, one of the messages basically stated this. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, see, the component stopped. So I'm scratching my, my head. I was like, what? Why did it stop? So the way that I got it to work was I went back here, right clicked on it. I went to start, went to configuration manager, service manager. And from here, I expanded my site code, right? Went to components. And the first one that you need is the configuration manager update. So I right clicked on it and I just query it. And now it is running. And like you saw within the logs, so if I right click, show messages, do that again, let's say two, let's, two weeks ago. It, it started, yeah, it said that it detected the component, should reinstall the site, blah, blah. When it, once it did its, its cycle, it kickstarted the update and it installed successfully. I was super excited. That's how I fix my problem. So if everything works well, you will see this. It passed, you're gonna get this nice little warning stating that a new version for the console is available. Click okay, once you click okay, it's gonna start downloading the files. Do not worry, don't, don't freak out. The console will close automatically and you're going to see this. Then it's going to start the installation part. It's gonna start gathering uh, the required information. And if everything goes well, you don't get a sign or a status saying successfully completed. It's just going to disappear. So on your taskbar or within your start menu, locate your, your configuration manager console, open it up, and you are able to go inside the menu about and your console version should be the new one. Now, if you go back inside administration, updates and services, and your hotfix under the state column, it should say installed 
which is which is always a great thing, right? Ah, oh, yes, SCCM is fully patched up. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments right below. If you had any issues within your environment, what have you done so far to get it up and running? I know sometimes restarting the database fixes the problem. Sometimes rebooting the, the server fixes the problem. For me, going inside uh, that system status component and restarting it or starting the services always works out for me. Uh, again, leave your comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.